Hi, Steve from Recall Knowledge here. Are you interested in learning more about Pathfinder 2nd Edition? Maybe you've seen it trending on Twitter recently. Maybe you're just curious why everyone keeps talking about it in other TTRPG spaces. Or maybe you signed up for the Beginner's Box Day and are looking for some pointers to get started. Well, look no further. In this video, I will show you the absolute best way to get started with Pathfinder 2nd Edition, which is running the Beginner's Box in Foundry Virtual Tabletop and we'll have you up and running within 10 minutes. Just stick around and see. So this video is gonna assume you've already gotten your beginner's box PDF from Paizo and you've got Foundry VTT installed and ready to go. Now, personally, I suggest using an online host like Molten Hosting or Forge to make things easier for you and your players to connect to one another, because I do not like worrying about port forwarding at all. Both of these services offer free trials, and if you go with Molten Hosting, you can use the code RECALLKNOWLEDGE, that's one word, at checkout, and get your entire first month for free. That's definitely a hot deal. <laughs> okay, so we've got Foundry running. We've got our world. First thing we have to do is install the Pathfinder 2nd Edition system. So, in order to do that, we're going to click this Install System button. And if we search PF2E, we're going to find Pathfinder 2nd Edition. All you have to do is click Install. Behind the scenes, it'll download, install everything. By the way, the Pathfinder 2nd Edition devs are the absolute best, and they make an awesome system. Entirely volunteer driven, but amazing. Okay, so now Foundry has all the rules for Pathfinder 2nd Edition into it. Well, what's next? Step two, install PDF to Foundry. Now Foundry has a concept called a module, which are little add-ons that people can create and you can install piecemeal into your system. In this case, we're gonna click the install module and we're gonna find PDF to Foundry. And we'll see it here. It says PDF to Foundry, PF2E. I'm going to click install. This is done by FryGuy. FryGuy is amazing. And this module is 100% a must have if you're running Paizo content. So that's it. I now have my game system installed. I have my module installed. Step three, create a game world for the Pathfinder second edition system. So I go to the game worlds tab. I click create world. For the title, I'm gonna call it PF2E Beginner's Box Game System. I'm gonna select the Pathfinder 2nd Edition Game System from the dropdown. Um, that's enough for now. And I'm just gonna click launch world. Select user, it's gonna default with just the game master, no password. Click join world. Now I'm in. Give it a second to load. Okay, the world's gonna load up. It's blank, nothing's in it. It's a completely new world, but that's fine. That's where PDF to Foundry is gonna save the day. So I'm gonna go to my settings tab and go to manage modules. I'm gonna find the PDF to Foundry importer, click it to turn it on and click save. Foundry's gonna reload now that it has that. So now behind the scenes, this module we've installed is loaded into memory, ready to work. Okay, so how does PDF to Foundry work? I'm going to go back to the settings. I'm now going to get this PDF importer button that wasn't there before we installed the module. And it's going to pop up and say, import PDF. There's a lot of information in here. It talks about the different modules it supports. In this case, we know it supports the beginner's box. So all you need to worry about is this giant choose file button at the bottom. So when you're ready, you're going to click choose file. It's gonna load up a file choosing dialog box from Windows or whatever OS you're using. Find the folder where you've extracted all of the files that you have from the PDF that you got from Paizo's website. In this case, we're looking for the gamemastersguide.pdf because that's the PDF that contains all the information about the world. I'm gonna click open and import PDF. There we go. Uh, it's gonna literally loop through the world and extract all the images, all the tokens, all the monsters, all of the text in the adventure from that PDF and build it in our world automatically. 
It doesn't take too long, but you see here, it's gonna just loop for a second. Um, if you're interested in knowing more about this step, I have a whole, two whole videos on my channel dedicated to PDF to Foundry and all the awesome stuff it can do. Go check them out. Seriously, this module is the best. It's about to be done in just a second. And when it's done, it's gonna create the worlds, the maps, the monsters, the tokens, everything in place. And just like that, boom, it's done. It's automatically loaded us into the first level. If I zoom out a little bit, we're gonna see this is the first level of the dungeon ready to go. It's got walls built in, it's got lighting, it's got monsters in place on the map where they would fight. Very easy. So once it's done, you're gonna zoom in a little bit. You're gonna notice the pictures are a little low res. The reason for this is because we've pulled from the PDF, but what we're gonna do next is update with the higher resolution images. So if I go back to PDF Importer, I click Choose File. This time, instead of the Game Master's Guide, you're gonna choose the flipmat.pdf and hit Open and import that. It's gonna go through these higher res images and update the scene. Let's just give it a second to do that. It's gonna reload once it's done. And we'll now see that the slightly higher res images, if I zoom in, they're a little cleaner. This is a little more presentable for a virtual tabletop. And it's loaded, it's done. At this point, within just a few minutes, the beginner's box is loaded, installed, ready to go. We're ready to run it as is. At this point, if you go to the journal notes, um, you're probably gonna to wanna to pin this on as a GM. But when you do that, you're gonna see each room in the adventure has that room's description ready to go. So room one, Hungry Rats, I open it up. It has the text box to read to your players. It has the information about what your players are gonna do, the monsters, what they're gonna do. Everything that would be in the PDF is right here and it's at the exact room you need it to be at, which is pretty awesome. If you come up here to the journal section, you can see all of the rest of the boxes, everything from the book, including, you know, getting started, everything you need to read just to like launch the game. All of that is here at your fingertips. All you have to do is import it. Pretty easy. In addition, if you go to the scenes, you'll see it's created two scenes, the first level and the second level. If I view scene on the second level, it'll load and you can see this scene is also installed, ready to go. Nice monster art, nice high res images, not too shabby. Now, step six here, we're gonna make slots for our players so they can actually connect to our game. So I'm gonna go back here in the settings tab and I'm going to go to user management. You're gonna see right now there's just the Game Masters account. So I'm gonna create four slots. I'm gonna call it player one, player two, player three, player four. If you know your player's names, you can change it here. You can set passwords if you want so that people can't just connect. But for this purposes, that's it. So now I see, I can come back to the beginning screen. It's gonna say, who are you? I'm gonna log in as the game master again, not the players. Click join game session. It's gonna load me back into the world. And now I have four player slots. So when people connect to my server and they try to connect and log in, there's four player slots they can choose from and be ready to go. All right, step seven, the last and arguably most fun step is to get the pre-generated characters into the world. Now the beginner's box comes with four pre-generated characters, but Paizo actually has pre-generated characters for every class in the game and it's installed automatically by default with the Pathfinder second edition system. So let's take a look at that real quick. I'm gonna come up here to the compendium. So there's two, two ways to do this here. First of all, if you're looking for the exact beginner's box pregens, what you're gonna do is search the word uh, iconic. There's a folder here that says non-iconic pregens. When you open it, you're gonna see a lot of these pregenerated characters that aren't iconic, including these beginner's box characters. So if I drag Ezra in here to the map, now, Ezrin is ready to go exactly as he is in the beginner's box. Which is a little different than the full-fledged rules, right? Or, if you want to run the actual Ezrin pregen, that's under the Iconics folder, and this is where you have 
each of the Iconics at different levels you can play in. So I can drag in the level one Ezrin pregen from the Iconics folder and run this one here. I'm actually not sure how different the two of them are. It looks like stat wise, they're pretty same. I don't know if spell casting wise, it looks like different spells are chosen for the different ones. So if you're trying to run this exactly as it is in the beginner's box, use the non-iconic pregens for the beginner's box characters. If you're just opening it up to your players and letting them play any class they want, pull in the iconic pregen and you'll be ready to go. And that's it. Now, there are plenty of other more advanced things you can play around with. There are a ton of awesome must-have modules to use besides just PDF to Foundry. We have some videos on our channel covering some of these. Uh, we have an entire series actually dedicated to tips and tricks to get the most out of Foundry, especially as it relates to the Pathfinder 2nd Edition system. Make sure to swing on by and watch all of those. It'll really help you elevate that game to the next level and shows exactly what this game system can do. And if you've enjoyed this content, please click subscribe and keep an eye out for other cool videos coming your way, including our Adventure Path actual plays, our Foundry Quick Tips series, and our GM preparation videos that help you to get started when you're running these Adventure Paths. And until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and goodbye. Hi, Steve from Recall Knowledge here. If you enjoyed this content, please make sure to like and subscribe down below so you can get notified of more awesome content coming your way. Also, make sure to follow our channel's Twitter, at Recall Knowledge, for the latest information. Thanks for watching.